And we also have the privilege of the jury chair, Mr. Suresh Narayan, who's here with us, request you to please come up on stage and address this August gathering. Of course, we all know you have over 30 years of a rich and exhaustive experience in the FMCG industry and have held senior management positions and, of course, bailed out Nestle through trying times both in India and abroad. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much and uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank the Exchange for Media Group for uh, inviting me to the function today and also uh, for having me as the jury chair uh, for the third IMA Awards. Now sometimes you, you come to an audience of this kind and you find that all that you wanted to say uh, has kind of already been said. And uh, I must confess Mr. Sodhi that uh, uh, whatever you had to say was the substance of what uh, I might have wanted to add in terms of what grants do and what the role that grants play in the lives of, uh, of human beings. Today we go through difficult times. Now, economic conditions, consumers' choices and consumers' discretions are changing by the day and it is consistency quality and trust that is going to ultimately rule the roost in terms of consumer choices. <coughs> Challenges are offered in difficult situations and I believe that having had some experience in going through uh, a major challenge for my organization, one of the key learnings that has come out of that experience and indeed the experience of many marketeers in India and overseas is that consistency, quality and trust are possibly the three dimensions that make for great brands. It's almost like human beings, this consistency, quality and trust that makes human beings great. In the same vein, it is these three qualities that also make brands great. In being the chair of the jury, the jury members, and I would like to thank each and every one of them, outstanding professionals who came together and we spent almost the entire day going through 14 categories, numerous entries, but at the end of it all we kind of came out looking more refreshed than we went in. So I guess the power of ideas and the power of the kind of creativity that, has been, uh, that we have experienced as individuals and collectively has really made the day for us in terms of our participation. But what was it that we were trying to look for? Every award seeks to not only recognize, but also inspire. The purpose of awards is not just to recognize events, happenings, individuals and achievements, but it is also to seek the standard of what one would be aspiring to or be inspired by in the course of one's career as a marketeer or indeed in one's course of any profession that one might pursue. The first tenet that we took on board as a jury was therefore ideas and excellence. A lot of debate therefore came through in each of the categories on whether the idea in itself was powerful enough to be qualified with the adjective excellent or whether it was just an idea that was commonplace, that had been done before, that was successful but nevertheless did not extol the adjective of being excellent. We have had numerous examples and I believe that as you see in the awards, some of them would be in front of you. The second, and this is the challenge of great marketeers, and I must say I was inspired by what Mr. Sodhi said when he spends 0.8% of his turnover on advertising. It's seldom the amount of money that you spend, but it is the quality of the idea that counts. So it's nice for us to talk about 500 crores, 1000 crores, 200 crores, 300 crore budgets. But it is seldom 
that we talk about the quality and consistency of the idea that we have put in the first place. And therefore, the second focus of the jury was not just to look at ideas that talked about big budgets, but ideas that were simply brilliant in being refreshing, in being contemporary, in capturing the voice of the consumer, in capturing the movement of the consumer, and in terms of defining the goal that the consumer was looking for in that proposition. That was clearly one of the areas where there was a lot of debate amongst us because obviously some of us come with an orientation of looking at big budgets, some others come with an orientation of return on investment, yet others come with the idea and the purity of the idea that matters rather than looking at how much you do to support it. The third element, and this is something that is common to all businesses and it is, it, is, it is a factor that is clearly important for all businesses to succeed, is the power of execution and also the power of results. Has this initiative translated into a result that is demonstrable, that is tangible and that is capable of replication over a period of time? Or is it just a lark that would happen today but will not stand the test of time tomorrow. So clearly, execution was one of the main features that came about in judging for the awards. Fourth, leadership. And I believe that leadership, not only in thought but in action, makes for great brands, makes for great positions, and makes for great companies. What was the demonstrable leadership that came through in the ideas that were put forth in the 14 categories that we looked at. Was it, was it leadership that was one-off? Was it leadership that came with purpose? Or was it leadership that came with purpose and came through with the DNA that we had talked about in the earlier presentation in terms of the values of the organization that was represented? Leadership ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, is what marketing is all about. Leadership is not about copying. Leadership is not about being a ship in the night. Leadership is about standing for something, whether good or bad. That only time can tell. The last element that we took into account in judging these awards was the out-of-box nature of the idea. Was it an idea that was truly out of the box? Or was it an idea that was only morphing itself slightly in order to achieve? So there have been ideas that came through in all the brands that we saw, some of which are time-tested, successful ideas, time-tested, but did not, in the opinion of the jury, either get the mantle of excellence or being out of the box. Today's challenge and the exciting challenge for marketeers, I believe, is to be able to nuance your thought, nuance your action in order to appeal to and in fact be in a manner that is proactive with the consumer. Anticipate rather than react. That is truly the name of the game in marketing and how some brands have been able to translate it how some simple initiatives have been able to translate this was really the focus of the jury. So ideas and excellence, ideation and not just spending, the power of execution, the lure and the inspiration of leadership, and last but not the least, the out-of-the-box nature of the idea that was being talked about. It was for me personally, a very exciting process. It was a very engaging process. It was a process where I got to learn because one of the challenges of leadership is that you sometimes think you know it all. But when you come into a jury, you realize that you really knew very little about the matter that was being discussed. So sometimes, if we look at the, the ills of the world, 
बट यू फर्गेट एज संत कबीर से बुरा जो देखकर मैं चला बुरा ना मिलिया कोई जो दिल खोजा अपना उत्साह बुरा ना कोई आई मस्ट से इन ऑल ह्यूमिलिटी दैट दिस इज बीन ट्रूली अ ग्रेट लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस बट एज इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ लीडरशिप एज द चेयर ऑफ द जूरी ऑल एरर्स एंड ओमिशंस आर एंटायरली एट्रीब्यूटेड टू मी सो इफ यू थिंक something has not been fair or just or has not been entirely representative of what you might have thought i am the guy to look at and say you didn't do a great job i did try and do my very best but i think we as lions have all rowed together thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for your patience and for your time